Okay, we're gonna go over how to do blood culture kits today, and also uh, not just for a peripheral stick, but also for a central line. Um, so first thing is you're gonna need for a blood culture kit is uh, you're gonna need a pair of uh, possibly another set of sterile gloves, and also the blood culture kit itself, and a non-sterile glove as well. So first things first is you're always gonna wash your hands first. Um, evaluate the areas where you might potentially get a blood culture. Um, you can look at the hand. Uh, this particular hand has a lot of veins that are um, easily visible. Um, you're going to take your first set of gloves, non sterile gloves, and you're going to want to take a look. And um, after you've kind of evaluated your site, you're going to want to open your kit. And let's look what's inside this kit. So, what's inside this kit is there's a uh, small 2x2 two two gauze, also, um, a uh, vacutainer um, for blood collection, um, also a tourniquet, uh, some alcohol pads, the actual blood culture bottles, um, there's an adapter to, to put uh, um, directly for the vacutainer to the bottles, and then there's also a bag and another, usually another set of gloves all the way at the bottom. Um, so first things first is, um, like I said, you're going to evaluate your site. So you can put your tourniquet on and go take a look at your site. Um, tie your tourniquet. And you want to do some cleaning. So grab your chlorhexidine, scrub um, for a good 30 seconds, and allow for, um, usually they say 30 seconds to a minute of dry time. So while it's drying, you can kind of prep everything else. Now if you need to repalpate the site, you're going to have to put on your sterile pair of gloves. Um, like I said, while you're letting it dry, you can kind of open up your kit. So you can open up your needle point. And at this point, I usually grab the end of this here and attach it to my adapter. Leave that to the side. Um, you're going to want to also grab your blood culture bottles and make sure that you also have your labels attached for the patient. So always making sure that you have an order for your patient even before we start this and having your labels at the bedside and verifying the patient's name um, and social or MR number and making sure you do that even um, before you even start. Um, so you want to grab your uh, bottles and making sure to know which one is the aerobic and anaerobic. Um, so for this one, the blue one is aerobic. So you're going to do that first and then anaerobic second. You want to go and clean the tops um, of the bottle and don't leave the alcohol pads on it. So just scrub it for 10 seconds, um, 10 15 seconds, and another one here. And then because you won't exactly know how much um, it is uh, because there's so many kind of gradients here, you're gonna wanna label your, uh, you're gonna put a pen and kind of flat put where your uh, 10 cc's would be, which would be right about here. And this one already has one on there. Um, so ideally you wanna grab 20, for, uh, 20 milliliters minimum to um, do for both. Um, but if you had to, always put more in the aerobic than the anaerobic. Um, and at least eight cc's? It's eight cc's that you have to grab for your minimum for your aerobic? I believe five, five. Five cc's for at least your aerobic. So uh, preparing for your stick, you wanna kinda take off the uh, needle tip and then go ahead and making sure maybe just to retract the skin and you can kinda poke. And then once you get blood return um, or flash, then you can kind of put it in the bottle, get your 10 cc's. Same thing for the other second one, your anaerobic. And then go ahead and undo the tourniquet, get your gauze. Go ahead and pull it out of the patient. Always make sure to put the safety on. And then after your patient is attended to, you can go ahead and label your bottle. So you're going to want to label it with your initials, the time, 
and also um, the site, very importantly, the site. And then uh, also making sure that the blood culture bottles match. So if you have a blood culture one, making sure that you have two blood culture ones on the bottle, not a blood culture one and two. It's very important to match those up. Um, otherwise, you're probably going to do it again. Um, so let's also go over to here and do over our uh, central line um, blood culture. So if you um, have to do a blood culture from a central line, which you should only do with um, a doctor's order um, or as a last resort, um, you're going to want to grab a couple of different supplies. So you can grab the blood culture kit, but you're also going to want to grab a cap, a 20 milliliter syringe, um, a uh, transfer device, an angel dome transfer device, and another set of two flushes. So you're going to want to attach your 20 cc's into your cap. Just peel it away, leaving the uh, blue part exposed, and go ahead and attach it and leave it to the side. And then you're going to want to uh, grab, pick the port that you're going to use, um, clamp it first, go ahead and take off the cap and then scrub the site vigorously for 15 seconds. And then make sure to let allow for dry time. Um, it's also very important to not have any waste. They want to really grab all of the contaminants inside the catheter, so no wasting for here. You don't want to undo your cap. Attach it to your hub. Uh, undo this clamp. Draw your 20 cc's. Clamp it back. Take off the syringe. Put it to the side. And then you're going to want to um, grab your, your transfer device. Put your syringe or 20 cc's of blood. Put it on the transfer device. And um, hopefully at this point you've already cleaned up, so you need to clean off your bottles again, um, or new bottles. So we have time to clean them off really quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And kind of similar to the last process, you always want to do your aerobic first. With 10 cc's, you're going to put your 10 cc's. And then the second one with the rest of the. And then after that, you're going to want to have to clear off your. Go ahead and flush the line. Go ahead and give it a good alcohol swab. Let it dry. Oh, yeah. Open your clamp. Attach there and go ahead and give a good uh, 20 cc's of flush. And that is how you do uh, blood cultures for both a central line and peripheral stick.